I just want to say thank you so much to OIS for allowing me the opportunity to represent my product and my company through the uh, Companies to Watch program here. My name is Gary Wirtz. I'm an ophthalmologist from Lexington, Kentucky, the Chief Medical Officer for Omega Ophthalmics. And it really is a privilege to talk a little bit about the product I've been working on, along with our CEO, Rick Ifland, called the Omega Gemini Refractive Capsule. Um, we have been working with a very experienced team of advisors in the industry, folks that most people would recognize, who've helped shape this idea over the past few years. And we'll, while we'll get into that in just a moment, I wanted to spend just a little bit of time talking about the current deficits, the current problems and challenges we have with refractive cataract surgery. As we know, the traditional lens, they all kind of look the same with very few variations. Uh, the traditional lens is basically a disc that is very thin and has arms that keep it central in the XY plane. But as we know, the human lens is very different than that. It's actually more of a three-dimensional structure. It's a spheroid and takes up more volume in the capsular bag. In our current era of refractive cataract surgery, despite all the advancements in technology, we're still not hitting the target as much as we should. About 60% of patients across the U.S. will be within a half diopter of their intended refractive outcome after cataract surgery. Now, when we look at LASIK, we're looking at 98% of patients being within that, you know, uh, plus or minus a half diopter. So we can clearly see there's an accuracy gap from cataract surgery to LASIK surgery, and that's a problem. One of the main reasons for that accuracy gap has to do with effective lens position. So where does that lens eventually sit inside the capsular bag will determine its effective power. If the lens sits a little bit too far posteriorly, we're going to get a hyperopic result. If it sits a little too anteriorly, we're going to get a myopic result. And patients aren't satisfied, we're not satisfied, it's time to do something a little bit better. And so part of, part of the challenge is that we have a lot of great technology that has advanced over the years. We've got great technology to measure the eye, we've got great technology for surgery. But this is all being hamstrung by the capsule uh, when it collapses. So we've got a large cataract. When we do surgery, the capsule collapses and shrink wraps the lens. And where that lens sits, it really ends up causing some, some accuracy problems because of, of ELP. We also have limited ability to exchange a lens, replace a lens, or upgrade a lens down the road once we have this capsule that is shrink wrapped the lens. And I really like to think about the, the human lens capsule as almost like a, a bank vault. It's a very important space and we let that space be closed forever unless we're keeping it open. That's one of the main differences. What, that's one of the key advantages of our product is it actually keeps the capsular bag open. So our device, while it is a lens, we call it the Gemini Refractive Capsule because while it is a lens, it's also a prosthetic capsule keeping that capsular space open. So I'd like to show a video um, that demonstrates our product and some of the advantages. What if a single device could change the way we treat the most common ophthalmic conditions, including cataracts, glaucoma, and macular degeneration, and at the same time provide a platform for the integration of augmented reality? Introducing the Omega Gemini Refractive Capsule, the platform that forever links ophthalmology to high technology. This device is a three-dimensional implant that keeps the capsular bag open contains a true refractive lens, and maintains an open space for drug delivery, biometric sensors, and additional lens technologies. Our device has been engineered to work with intraoperative aberrometry to ensure that the correct visual outcome is achieved. It is designed to hold additional lenses that can be implanted during the primary surgery for refractive fine-tuning, or in the future to upgrade the patient's vision. Gone are the worries of choosing the correct lens power or exchanging technology that a patient may not tolerate. By maintaining an open space in the capsular bag, we have created the optimal platform to house intraocular technology. This protected environment is the perfect place to seamlessly integrate virtual and augmented reality devices currently in development, providing a new frontier for this exciting technology. The future of innovation is a journey into open space. The Omega Gemini Refractive Capsule is the next platform to take us there.
So that really establishes a new category of intraocular lens. It's a lens that actually contains a true refractive monofocal optic, but it also holds the capsular bag open. And by keeping the capsular bag open, we're really protecting that vault, that space, or that real estate that previously we've really just wasted. And so by keeping that space open, it gives us a lot of flexibility and a lot of options for future developments and also refractive fine tuning. It's one thing to show a computer animation, but it's another thing to actually show the lens that's been manufactured, that's been molded, and actually um, implanted into uh, rabbits for uh, multiple animal studies. Um, and so here you can see an anterior view of the lens. There's an opening on top. The optic is on the back side, as you can see right there. There are polyimide haptics. And one of the questions we get commonly is, this is kind of a big lens, it's bulky. What kind of incision are you gonna be able to put this through? Well, even at 30 or 32 diopters, we're still able to get this through a standard injector through a 2.6 millimeter incision. And as we continue to develop and continue to improve some of those things, we feel like we'll probably get the full complement of lenses through a 2.4 millimeter incision or smaller. Here you can see the lens being inserted into our, uh, one of our rabbits. You can see it very smoothly delivers into the capsular bag just with a standard plunger injector. And once it is released, it, it fills the capsular bag and, and centers automatically. But that's not all. Not only will this go in and fill the capsular space, it's been designed to also hold a traditional single piece acrylic lens. While our, while our lens is made out of silicone, there's a vast array of options in acrylic. And if you're going to do a piggyback or a simultaneous uh, polypseudophagia uh, procedure, you definitely want to have uh, lenses of disparate materials. So while our lens is made of silicone, we're able to put all the, the acrylic lenses we would like um, on top of that. So our lens has been designed to actually house additional lens technology that's currently on the market. Another thing we've noticed is a dramatic reduction in PCO, which you can see. So we really feel like our new device is a platform. It's a platform that's been designed to work with that intraoperative ab aberometry to provide better vision. It provides flexibility for changing or upgrading lenses. It provides a space for devices such as glucose monitors, pressure sensors for glaucoma, maybe even a heart rate monitor. Also, for the future, a space for high technology implants, things like augmented reality. Also, dissolvable drugs might find a new home here, and we're finding we're reducing PCO. We have a tremendous patent team of uh, intellectual property um, attorneys who have secured over 10, uh, 10 domestic and international patents with more hopefully on the way. And currently, we are in our internal phase two where we've gone through the development and prototyping process and we're about to start a first in man trial outside the US. So in summary, the Gemini refractive capsule keeps the capsular bag open. It can be used alone as a standard IOL or in combination with other technology. It requires just the standard technique for cataract surgery with a small incision through a standard injector. It's patented in the US and abroad. And really, we feel like this is more than a lens. We feel like this is a, a platform for a new pipeline. Thank you very much for your attention. And just as a reminder, the Omega Gemini refractive capsule is an investigational device and is not approved for use in the United States. Thank you. Thank you.